if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com, and I'm going to do kind of a, a review visit on uh, maintenance battery installation, these ones that you can mount in any uh, direction to where the annoying deal where you like flip, you know, flip it around and the nuts fall out on you or you can't get the, the uh, thread started when you're mounting accessories. So I got a, a cool little tip. Haven't done this video, I think, for probably, uh, gosh, I bet you it's been, I bet you it's been 10 years or better. So I thought it'd be a good revisit and uh, kind of looking at some of the comments that people put on that video from, uh, from like 10 years ago. So stay tuned. All right, so here we have battery, and you can see here I've got the nut just flipping around in here, and there's a pretty big gap, especially in these aftermarket ones that aren't threaded uh, for your fastener right away. So this can really cause us some grief in the fact that when we take that nut and put it in there, you know, when we go to kind of orient in the vehicle, it could fall out. It's a super pain for that. And then the other problem that you run into is that as you start to, you know, put accessories on here and you start to stack this up, what will happen is now your bolt isn't long enough. And then you're having to go down in here and you're having to like try and pry this up. Matter of fact, I'll get a straight blade. You're trying to do this and get that into, into place to get it high enough so that you could grab onto it. And this makes it seem like no big deal on the bench because I have a ton of room with my screwdriver. But when you have the frame rails of the motorcycle or snowmobile or ATV or whatnot, this can definitely get to be kind of cumbersome to, to try and deal with. So what we want to do is we want to try and get that nut up high enough that we can just grab onto this. So the last video I made 10 years ago, there was a lot of cool uh, feedback and ideas. And, and one person had said that they super glued them. And at, at first I thought, well, wow, that's a really cool idea. But what I found is that when I super glued it, about the moment I put a nut on it, it just broke and it, 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 it just wasn't sealing, right? I don't know, super smooth surface, not good enough glue. I don't know, maybe somebody said better luck. But I really went back to my tried and true way that I do it. And that's what I wanna show you now. And so here's an example of the, the, the bolt here actually hitting the nut with no problems. It's just good to go and then it's not falling out either. So I can do whatever I want. This one's gonna fall out and this one is gonna stay in place. And the most I might have to do with this trick is just come over here and like reline it up, you know, something like that. And then I'm right back into business, okay? Now let me show you how I do that. What I do, it's incredibly simple, is I just take a piece of hose, doesn't matter if it's clear, doesn't matter if it's black, doesn't matter what it is, and basically, I'll just go ahead and do this one here, is I'll take and kind of look at how, how wide this is, and then I'm just going to cut a piece off. There's nothing really precise about this. And then I'm going to slip this down in here. Now, due to different batteries and different uh, thicknesses of this opening or whatnot, sometimes what I have to do is actually take this hose and cut it in half and only use half of it. But you, you, since you're modifying it, you have to think about, could I cause any problems? If I use too thick of a spacer or a bumper or whatever you want to call that, what I could get into is the potential for a false false torque. And let me show you what I mean by that. So on this particular screw right here, I don't have any uh, eyelets or anything on there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to thread this down. And what you'll notice is I'll, I'm actually bottoming out before I'm hitting the actual battery. Now in the reality of this, this one is still perfectly fine because I'm going to have I'm going to have a washer from the uh, the battery itself. Well, I'm going to put a battery uh, charger accessory lead on there. And then uh, that's going to raise it up as well. So I'm, I'm probably pretty safe on the fact that I'm not too proud. But what I should really do is I should test it. And I want to make sure that you're understanding or comprehending this modification and why that's so important. Okay. So as I really compress down through that piece of hose, I could see here that I can actually bottom it out. But let's uh, let's get close and, and take a look at that and get you to understand, you know, it is really, really important. You know, another thing we definitely don't want to do is, you know, over torque these to a point we pull the, you know, pull them out right out of the battery. So that's something uh, that's important as well. 
but let's go ahead here and uh, fix the other one and then put the accessories uh, in place minus a cable. We'll uh, stack up a couple washers to take the place of the actual battery uh, cable and see how it turns out. So in this one here, like I said, I'm just going to pop that piece of hose in there. I'm going to go ahead now and and get uh, my nut on here. And what's great about this is when you go to work on it in the future, you go to maintain your vehicle or whatnot, um, it's done. I mean, it's whether it's for the customer or for yourself, it's pretty, uh, pretty slick. You can see here, it's taking a little effort, which I, I want. And just pop that hose through. Okay, awesome. That's what I want. So, there's one last little tip. This happens to be the negative. I'm just going to try to model this as well. Like so I'll take a couple of washers to kind of stack this up. And let's find out if we can get uh, if we could get good clamp clamping torque with this. Then by the time we and, and here's another thing to decide too. So like I could see how much gap in here, and the question is, well, do I have room for another eyelet? If I only get like a half a turn eye here, then my my faster is going to be too short. I want to make sure that this bolt has enough thread to get you know all the way through the nut. So. Don't want to stack up a uh, hundred eyelets for accessories that you're powering up LED lights or whatever, and then not be able to uh, to make that work. So here's how I'm checking this. I can't rotate this, so I'm good and tight. And if, if you didn't know, there are torque specs in a lot of manuals for the for the battery post. And then what I'm doing is I'm going to look through there and see do I have good you know uh, thread all the way through the nut I feel really good about that and you can see how much threads in there I could definitely add an eyelet of the battery cable from the motorcycle and I'm still going to be plenty good through the nut so I'm really feeling really good about that and then the last thing to think about like when you go to put this in the motorcycle one thing I see that drives me crazy is if the frames right here, the battery box is right here, you got to think about the orientation of this eyelet, okay? So you want to think about when you go to tighten it, if I go this way, this is taller, okay? So you could see here, I'm going to bend, I'm going to have to bend this to get this in place to get to clamp. Well, that definitely means put this above the battery cable so that you can maybe rest across here. If I go this way, Am I going to hit the box or have a problem? And, and God forbid, this is the way I see a lot of people do it, is I'll go to take these off, and this thing is flopped up here and hanging over the side and, and just uh, really being a problem. All right, my friends, there is my tip for today. If you haven't done so, please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you haven't done so, you can join the channel as a way to support us. I need to get this battery back in that little CBR and get that bike back to the customer today. So I'm going to get at it. Make it a great day. And as always, keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like if you could get member only content? Many of you have been asking over the last year as we've put out surveys and, and tried to get some feedback that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the, the real uh, explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers. I mean, really people from all over the world, over 200 countries, are using our content to get a deep understanding to uh, help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos are coming back. That's the kind of content that's gonna go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're gonna get the deep dive videos. Two, you're gonna get access to member-only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth uh, Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member, channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community has always been about helping each other and uh getting those answers to the questions we need i mean you, you gotta remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that i'm trying to do so we, we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this of a community that is, is more attentive. So we want to be more relationship focused. That's a big thing of the memberships. 
The other thing is, uh, YouTube does this, I think it's kind of funny, but uh, we're doing the emojis, so if you're a new member, it's gonna be a green one. We kind of went along the lines of like uh, training does in most uh, certification programs. Bronze is your entry level, uh, silver is your middle of the road, and then gold is your you know top certified. But we added one more. We added a red one just to say, hey, thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while. So for all you that love that kind of stuff, hey, it's there for you. Um, what else are you going to get with this? What you're going to get is really honestly, in, in my opinion, it's really a way just to say thank you. We've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not beg, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I, I got a full-time job. Like I do this and have always done this on my own buck. All these expenses are my own. Uh, as I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. We got a building, insurance, uh, you know, it, we got everything. So uh, it costs a lot to be able to do all this. And we really do need your help to offset some of that. So this is a way for you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. I hope you thought, man, that's really a great idea. Uh, look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button. It'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you and what attracts you. It's a great way to get some uh, discounts on merchandise as well too. But hey, we are going to get back at it. We're super excited about this. We're just already going to start moving forward making content that's member only. So those, those videos we were just talking about. But my friends, Whatever you're doing, be safe. We know 2020 has been a crazy year out there. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're going to get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.